Good evening, crackheads. It is that time once again. It is Friends After Dark, the return. The much-anticipated return of the beloved Friends After Dark. And what will we be doing on Friends After Dark? That's right, we're playing the Pokemon DLC, uh, like we do on regular streams, and it's only Friends After Dark, uh, because I'm fucking busy all the time. And this is, uh, 8 o'clock at night was the only time I had to play some damn Pokemon. I got the damn, the, 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 the <laughs> I'm just throwing all YouTube monetization out the window, but that's okay. I don't get any ad revenue from that anyway. I can collect platinum points? <laughs> what for? I didn't do anything. Holy crap, Nintendo's paying me off for bringing back Friends After Dark? <laughs> Let's go? This video is now officially sponsored by Nintendo Platinum Points? I forgot I looked like this. There are mass outbreaks occurring. Who fucking cares? Where's the... Where's the... Where's the thing? Where's the I connect to the internet guy? What the fuck are you... Tying your shoes? Over and under, over and under, Galerica twigs go all around. And a nice accessory is what we've wound. I can weave you a Galerica cuff of a... Or a Galerica wreath if you bring me some Galerica twigs. Sure. I'll need eight Galerica twigs to make you a Galerica cuff. Okay. Uh-oh. That's the Slowbro Evolutions? That makes sense. I figured it was something like that. Is there just not a thing here to connect to friends? I guess not. I guess the coastal plaza just doesn't have fucking shit. Are the slow are the slowpoke gallery evolutions trade or do you just use the item? The twigs are a fucking pain. Hey, I appreciate that. That you can just give them to me. I don't really mind having to collect them, but I didn't connect to the internet. Fucking hate this game. We good? Wow, how oh, cool. Nope, don't do that. They only spawn in one location and take three hours to respawn. Holy shit. What the fuck? There's the code. I should have done this while I was getting the stream set up. I apologize. There, there was no need for me to wait and then hop on here. Let me know if the mic is too loud. I see the levels going up, but it's stopping at yellow, so I don't think I'm peeking the mic, but who knows. It could get worse when I start doing my fucking goblin voice for Kieran. Um... I'm going to try and get like two hours of the stream done because I got to set up the PS5 tonight in preparation for uh, WWE 2K24 Friday. So we'll, uh, we're going to beat here and that's like the first thing we're doing. And then maybe we'll do the secrets of Area Zero. Like I presume that's just what comes next. And then like, I guess the app, but I don't know what's like. There's one thing, I might have, like, a massive plot spoiler for the secret of Area Zero, but it also could be fucking nothing. What's in my party? That's a pretty good team. I don't really need a lantern, though. The homies! Um... You're from the previous DLC. We'll put you into Evolve You into Flygon. Because at level 45, you might have some actual value for me. Excuse me. Probably not, but you could. Um, and then our opening team. I really do think... That leading with... These two... No... Okay, hear me out. I think leading with these two is, like, really good. Because 
I can Earthquake, Protect, and then, like, do a different move while setting up Leech Seeds and Alternate. Yeah, so, I mean, I'll, listen, I, I was gonna do a bit for the Kieran fight, um, but chat knows about it, so it, there's no point in doing it. Kieran has, like, a special interaction if you use Ogre Pawn against him and he gets, like, really angry. I don't know where I fight Kieran at. Where do I go to fight Kieran? It's from the base. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do it. I was gonna be like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring Ogre Pond with me to see it. He'll get really mad in tunnel vision while I set up with those Rostros or whatever." Um, but chat knows, so I'm just, I don't care enough. He, he gets mad. Receptionist. Oh, thank you. I will take him out without Ogre Pond, because Ogre Pond means other me. Oh, yo, Mephistopheles. Who ready to sign up for your official match? You're Mephistopheles, yes? Let me get your championship match set up. This will take just a moment. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, so Mephistopheles, you said you and Kieran are friends, right? I kind of think he fucking hates me, to be honest with you. Oh, no need to be shy about it. Friends are almost just part of life at your age. How old are you? Oh, here's the trace to take. I like Kieran better when his hair was down. He used to be this quiet little guy, trimming like a leaf, had all the spot of a wind pod. You'd hide behind Carmine if you so much to breathe too loud. Oh, but I'll tell you what. Oh, when it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as in his. But then, out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes around everyone around him. I know, I was there, bro. I was the- I was the nexus point! It was me! Oh, nothing's good to come out of this. Someone's gonna snap out of it. I could tell you more about Kieran than you could tell me. I tried, but couldn't do it. I guess I've gone soft from the laser life. So now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Everything's ready. Are you ready to battle Kieran, the BBL champion? Yeah. I got little weird ears on my hat. Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you are ready. Oh, well, it's all up to you now, Mephistopheles. Me and the other Elite Three will be cheering you. Oh, fuck it. You mean the Elite Four? Just say me and the rest of the Elite Four. Why did you say me and the other Elite Three? You fucking nitwit. This is an official BB League announcement. A championship match. Sorry. <clears throat> a championship match is about to begin at the Battle Court near the Entrance Academy. If you would like to watch the match, please make your way there. There's like a trainer battle platform in the cave. Oh my. We have not battled everyone, anyone in the cave. Oh shit, are we fighting right fucking here? That could be epilogue stuff. Hello, Kieran. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Mephistopheles. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All of that hard work, all of it! All of it was just so that I could beat you! Right here, right now! Okay, whatever, baby boy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. My battle cry. <laughs> what the fuck is this, bro? You set up rain dance on my ass? Okay, this is like a bad... I know I'm making the right choice. You'll understand soon enough. Okay, he immediately set the rain up. I need to kill this asshole immediately. I don't have a good rain check. I think the the sh the play is to. I have water absorb, so I stay in and I spikes, and then I swap to surfrazzle. Might could be a little lower. Got you, got you, got you. I am going goblin mode. 
Uh, this is probably good. Let me know if it needs to go even lower. I'm also leaning into the mic more than I probably need to. You fucking idiot. You fell right into my trap. How do you like that? See how I'd have trained? Not like the kid you battled in Kitakami, huh? Bro, you fucking idiot. You fucking dipshit. You absolute fucking moron. I'm setting spikes on your dumb ass. Nah, dude. Fucking keep doing it. Whittle his whole fucking team down. Parabolic charge. Send this dumb motherfucker to the Shadow Realm. You get dodged, idiot! Alright, thankfully, uh... Well, I guess, I guess Captain Bonesaw is a little bit of a physical attacker... But is it doesn't matter. Weatherball took like five hits to get Ogre Pond to kill health. Oh yeah, an electric berry? That's pretty smart of him. Dude, it barely mattered. That's so funny. Oh, he hit a crit on one of them. Okay, that's so funny. Heck, wowzers! Doesn't matter if the tight matchups don't have you though. I'll still win. Homeboy, you just said wowzers. Even Lux chosen you over me! It's not fair! It's just not fair! He's losing it, bro. He hit me with the double cutscene. He is freaking out. Kieran, don't say wowzers for the villain arc. We're about to kill Politoed. Um, so let's set up another layer of spikes. I should just terastalize, to be honest with you, and kill the Dragonite. I just don't need to. Oh my, you're finally hitting a Weather Ball? Okay. How cute. Uh, I will now possibly kill the Dragonite. My chances of killing the Dragonite have increased. Hello, welcome. Captain Bonesaw, you're probably not going to hit a single Earthquake this fight. You're probably out here just to set up Spikes, Toxic, and then dip out. Double kill! You're about to lose 25% of your health with every guy you send in. Bro had breaking swipe said, yes, Hurricane is the play. Well, he tried to Hurricane uh, my Grass type, so I understand. But I simply read him like the fucking book nerd he is. Okay, I think literally... Okay, there's a little damage on Captain Bonesaw. I was gonna say, I think literally no damage on anyone, but Captain Bonesaw got the damage from the, the breaking swipes. Alright, so everything he sends out, assuming it touches the ground, will take 25% damage. Is the easiest sweep of my life. I legit just might sit here and cl click two moves. Porygon Z, alright. He's got a little bit of a freak on the team. Okay, okay. Um. Captain Bonesaw, I do think you need to swap. I think you've had a bit too many attack lowers. You rock electric? Yeah, let's send you in. I don't know what he plans to do with this, so we're gonna drop its attack real quick. Get that quark drive going. The big boy attack. Alright, good fake out. Good fake out. Uh, I'm probably just gonna rock blast you. Oh my! Holy crap. Alright, well the Porygon's cooked for the turn. Life Orb Hyper Beam is pretty strong. Um... I think we just Rock Blast the Incineroar, and then Parabolic Charge, and that'll recover us a good amount. Unless, well, besides the fact that I'm about to kill the Incineroar. Oh, that's neat that the berry pops in the middle of the Rock Blast. Should we drop a high? Well, thanks for coming in to say hi. Come on, hit one more. Let's go! Cure you, you monster.
I will never know what the Incineroar was planning on doing. <laughs> Alright, incredibly easy kill. Thank you for the crit, Sir Frazzle. My strongest soldier. Thank you for the little bit of health, Kiryu. Great teamwork. Porygon did have a flag with both Overpong and Iron Valiant had Brick Break. That's so funny. Just go down already! How are you still standing? After I've thrown everything, I have it, you! I respect immediately hitting a Life Orb Hyper Beam on Sir Frazzle, the strongest threat in history. New Pokemon alert! I've seen this one. Oh, you idiot. I have spikes, moron. My, not my evasiveness. I really like Hydrapple, by the way. Um, I'm just gonna kill it, though, with Ice Punch. I don't need the old me anymore. I've changed, and I'll show you I can change again. Oh my? He's probably gonna terrasize the dragon. Which is good, because this thing is probably dragon grass. Wait, fighting? Oh my god, that actually resists ice? He's done it. He, he read the ice punch. Uh-oh, and he set up the reflect with Grim Snarl. Uh oh. Oh! 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 He's about to enter his double Joker arc. I can't believe this. <laughs> Dude, sometimes God just hates people, you know? Sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. on him. <laughs> Can I just flex on this dumbass? I gotta, I gotta change my Pokeball throw. That's like the worst Pokeball throw ever. Uh oh, Grimmsnarl, don't kill my Vibrava. He's innocent. He's just here to flex. Not Spirit Break! No! Why was that super effective? <laughs> was that a fairy move? I guess it was probably a fairy move. It's a fairy move, yeah. Goodbye, Vibrava. I regret doing that, but it was funny. What's so funny is, like, this is not really what Hydrapple looks like. Like, it has a bunch of heads, and we'll just never see it because I froze it immediately, and so it just stood motionless. That's so funny. That's, that's incredible. Kieran, you were actually the easiest fight. That's so funny. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, they're gone. That, that girl... In the crowd, kind of looks like the ch the anime Black Widow from Marvel Snap. Uh huh. It'll be twenty thousand bones for your big L you just took. Oh my! Little soldier. Nothing will keep him down. Let's see this homeboy get a mega evolution in Pokemon Legends Zaza. Sorry, sorry, Kira, not to interrupt you. My my random Vibrava had to evolve real quick. Dude, even Reuniclus showed up to watch the fight. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. Holy shit, I've ruined his fucking street cred. Dude, this school is brutal. No. Why? This wasn't supposed to happen. No. No. <laughs> Way to go, both of you. That was awesome. Oh, honestly, Crispin. Read the room, would you? 
My man is fucking transcending. A good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? He's a fucking bully. X champion. Do I, do I need to stand up to Drayton? He's being a little fucking bully. He's being a little. Kieran was a bully too. I'll stand up to both of them. I'll whoop both your fucking asses. I should have brought the Suicide Squad team into the Kieran fight. Maybe it would have been a challenge. Oh, look at you, buddy. Oh, way to go. I guess we got a new BB League champion. Oh, the Academy's got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. Is it a poker? <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> Drain like tonal shifts a lot during scenes. Oh, hey, Kieran. Oh, this may not mean much coming from a guy. <laughs> he like hands that to me. He's like, I heard you lost. I heard you lost this. I heard you uh, you had a little accident. Oh, this may not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but I wish you go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let the desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. That's a crispin line, actually. Oh, come on, let's all go in. Win next time. Oh, uh, come again. I won't lose next time for sure. I'll, I'll win next time. I'll win. Just look in the fucking. I'm just gonna stare at him. Mephistopheles, I. Uh... Oof. Uh um, If we might um interrupt, the speech is fine, but it's coming after the mocking X chant. Well, first, of course, we want to offer Mephistopheles our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement, something that should be celebrated. But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Oh, proceed with what? Well, think about it a moment, would you? If Mephistopheles is our champion, then that means he's head of the League Club. But he's an exchange student. What is our long-term plan here if he doesn't stick around? There are so many particulars to sort out. Oh, oh, yeah. And of course, if Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what? Me? That's bad, isn't it? That, okay, that one you should have planned for in advance. Because he wasn't going to be champion forever. I'd like to hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. Karen. A body's been discovered because I fucking killed him in that battle. <clears throat> this is an announcement for the following students. <clears throat> BB League Champion Karen, Top Elite Four member Drayton. Sorry, X Champion. <clears throat> Paramount of Class 3 2, Mephistopheles, our exchange student. Can we bring Lacey? <clears throat> Mr. Brian, some guests would like to see you. <laughs> report to Area <clears throat> Please report to Area Zero as soon as possible for the secret. I want to bring Lacey. Can I swap Drayton for Lacey? I like that character more. What could that be about? Now's really not the time. A BB League champion, Kieran, huh? They're gonna need to update that. Drayton, could you seriously not right now? She threw up the exit right the perfect time. It's just not right, and certainly not kind. This might be running at shit frame rate, it's hard to tell. No, it looks pretty normal on playback. I think the thing on mine is just fucked. Well, we shouldn't leave Miss Briar hanging, or we'll never hear the end of it. Go on ahead, Mephistopheles. We'll meet you there. I'll make sure Kieran comes too, even if I gotta carry him. Lacey, do you think I should have said something when he went goblin mode? Congratulations on becoming champion. But it seems we can't celebrate just yet, with everything unsettled. Hey, man. Oh, shit! It fucking scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no, this is bad! If I'm not in the Elite Four, I can't use Elite Four space. This is Savannah Plaza anymore! That's crazy. Come on, man. I was teabagging him for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit, I do not remember this woman's voice in the fucking slightest, dog. Was she the southern woman? Oh, here we are, Miss B. I thank you. No, the guy was southern. Who the fuck? What the fuck was her voice? Yeah, we've definitely met her. She was like a real character. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in on the situation. Please have a seat. I don't mind if I do. These knees are creaking. Oh, please. You're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Mephistopheles. I'd heard you were busy battling your way up the BB League. But to think you'd make it as far as champion, what a dazzling accomplishment. Thank you so much. Sorry, Miss Briar, but could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? Didn't she have, like, a thing for one of our teachers or something? My apologies, that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic, then. I want all of you here to join me. On an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. I don't think this was her voice. It's fucking pissing me off that I don't know. Area Zero? That's that place in Paldea you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? I think she was just, uh, like, very uppity. My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But, to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I am hoping that we can find Terrapagos the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Can we get, like, a better fucking cast of characters than this? And I know that the people that- the other people that showed up are probably gonna be the other cast of characters, but fucking, can we cut Carmine and Drayton for, like, fuck, dude, I like, Lacey and Perrin? Um, <clears throat> no, just saying, just two people off the top of my head. Terrapagos, a legendary Pokemon? Uh-oh, the freaks come out at night. Oh, shit. A rather exciting idea, isn't it? <laughs> Who the fuck invited you? You can stay. There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. Miss Gita? I've beaten you. You are not champion. Whom? Hmm? Champion Mephistopheles, I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, of course. You must be participating in the student exchange program. Oh, Mephistopheles just got crowned our new BB League champion, too. Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. If you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it alright if I explain the situation to the children, Briar? By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I am the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries, and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off-limits, even for research. That being said, recently we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time, to study Area Zero. So? You reached out to me, as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with these ourselves. Blueberry Academy is a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Mephistopheles also on the team, I would know I could safely initiate a new expedition. Please do not insult Rika's glasses. She's fucking worried about efficiency, not style. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Will you join our little team as we explore Area Zero? Yeah. A splendid, well said Champion Mephistopheles. Um, well, I, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Oh, sorry, but I'll pass this one. 
fucking go. Another win for the good guys. You know, I'd like to replace him. I would like to recommend some possible replacements. Oh, the league club's a whole mess right now. Winnie Moss did a hand on the wheel here. Sure. You just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldea, can you? <laughs> Guilty. I'm curious what Almighty X Champion's thinking, though. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then it's decided. We'll all just ignore that little statement. It's too bad that Drayton won't be joining us, but it seems the team will consist of Carmine, Kieran, Mephistopheles, and myself. You have my thanks for your help on this matter. I look forward to the great findings that you will now doubt to bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Garia Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy entrance as soon as we're ready. Why did Rika come? Rika, why were you here? It's good to see you. Why were you here? Rika, I don't remember your voice, but what were you doing here? Oh, shit. It has been a while, Champion Mephistopheles. Hey, kiddo. Rika's here, too. At your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you are putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as Baldea Champion, even while abroad. That's what champions do. Ha! Indeed. I wouldn't expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went to the Great Creator with the League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not going to get a scolding for that. That's what champions do. What's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking rules willy-nilly. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. And besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if Champion Mephistopheles had here had ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. Better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Mephistopheles. This time you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did, I'd forgotten about that. Champion Mephistopheles, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The end of the DLC! What is that anyway? TM or something? It is a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea as to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figured that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're here. Well, he's there, huh? Do you want him to pick up some potato salad on the way back, too? I do ask that you return the disc to me, if you end up not finding a use for it. There is still much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I got my own work to do. Do your best down there. Don't push yourself too hard, yeah? No, please excuse us. Goodbye. One of you was a good character. Bye. Gita wasn't bad. She was just a fucking nothing champion. I need to heal my fellows. My fellows are weak. Um. Honestly, I love Captain Bonesaw though. We'll temporarily take Kiryu. Hmm. Yeah, we have an electric type. We'll temporarily take Kiryu out of the party, even though he's he's goaded with the sauce. So we can be like leveling up some other fellows. Get some fellows leveling, you know? And probably just the entrance. Where's you? What the hell? You can whistle?
Kiki's awful quiet. I hope he's okay. He was feeling in shape when he lost. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was you, Frosty. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Mephistopheles? I have no idea if we will or not. Splendid! We finally ready to set off, then. We weren't previously, but who knows. Are you two feeling alright? Well enough to travel, at least. Well, I'm... I'm fine, anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran! Alright then, shall we? Do -do 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 -do. The boys are back in town, except not really, because this team sucks. Well, here we are. There's an item right there. We made it! I, I'm finally here! I like that I'm standing back, because this is just fucking nothing to me. I spent too much time here already getting my shiny... Uh... Paradox fellas. Area Zero! The place I've dreamed about for years! Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. <laughs> Dude, even she's mocking him for saying wowzers. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Mephistopheles? Yeah, well, my friends! I'll say friends. I think two of them are my friends. I won't... I would say buddies if it was just Penny. But I, pr I probably wouldn't even say buddies. I'll say friends for the two. Friends, huh? Aegeus. Yeah, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. Or, what you madon? So you came here with Mephistopheles back then, too, huh? Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. Deeper down? Way deep? Buried way deeper down? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to some place even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Well, either way, we should start by making for the Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead, Mephistopheles. Can I fast travel? Can I use my fast travel abilities? No, I want the item. This might be an unobtainable item. It's gone! But was it ever really there? I definitely don't think we're both here, gamer. Probably because, like... You're in the... You got the future area. I got the past area. They didn't want to update it. Dunk said harumph. Uh, I can't just... No, yeah. The, the whole area is like this. It's been a while. Ooh, do, 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 do. Oops. Psh. Hello, Scream Tail. Bunk. Uh, I don't remember where the lab is, to be completely honest with you all. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. There's not really like a map to guide me. I may have just jump down into the void. Where are we going? We're going to the Zero Lab, which I don't remember where that is and there's no map. So my ass just jumped off a fucking bridge and hoped for the best. 
Is this a trail? Is this a trail to the lab? Probably not. Oh, it sure was! Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Gita's description at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero. Nope. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely known. I know it. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So, you're saying we should head inside this Zero Lab? Gate's closed now. Huh. Oh, you're right. What do we, what do, we do now, Mephistopheles? You've been here before, right? We gotta save the law. I mean, are we gonna fight some assholes? Boom. Wowzers. This feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. What? I didn't say anything! Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate, Mephistopheles? You have giant terrestrialized earrings, bro. Who's, my, who's in my front? We're out of double battle phase. Let's go. Let's go. Access revoked due to prolonged activity. Entrance locked. What's the matter? Is something wrong with it? It opened before, though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? Uh, let's not mention the professor. I see. So last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Beep boop. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Why does why did we know it was called the indigo disc? Hi, it's talking. It's an indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please, it's an indigo disc. Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. Indigo disc? What could it mean by that? Yeah, I got that. It's actually a suck mind. I got a thing. Don't, don't ask. Don't worry about it. Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before she departed, did she? You think that's it? Oh, how fun. Go on, Mephistopheles. Do it. You have my permission. Shut the fuck up, Carmen. Please insert the Indigo Disc! Boop. Indigo Disc confirmed! Zero Lab Elevators redirected to Area Zero Under Death! <laughs> wow, it looks like shit. It's like Trivia Pursuit puzzle pieces. Dude, imagine like a room just full of employees fucking racking their brains on how they're gonna explain that there's an area deeper than area zero. Look at that. It opened. Let's head on in. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. I should have never smoked that fucking disc. Now I'm in the cola super deep borehole. This is where I watched Arvin's mom die, Kieran. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around with any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their fuck, hmm? <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't put enough emphasis on the in and funk there. Shut it! Where's Miss Briar anyway? Oh shit, they got her. Oh, never mind. She's busy rummaging through like a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Well, they're dead, so I've heard, so. Huh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Elevator! Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe you can take us further down. You wanna go down, right? Down, you say? Oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned? 
Fuck, did we? <laughs> like, I'm confident about that. Oh, did you already forget what happened last time you were here? Perhaps this is a side effect of prolonged exposure to Area Zero. No, it's just been a year since the game came out. Well, we've no time to waste. Let's go down. Guys, did we kill the AI? Is the AI, like, we didn't, like, trap the AI down here. Did we not, like, waken something up, are we? Dude, is it gonna just be the turtle? Is he just... We just go one level deeper and the fucking turtle is there hanging out in an empty room? Reggie style? Oh, wonderful! This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. Bro's just vibing. He's smoking a fat turtle joint. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Homeboy's tweaking. Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah. Something about an elevator being redirected, right? I heard a big ruckus like three years ago. What's that about? Hey, guys. Welcome to my secret hideout. <laughs> As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator inside the secret of the Zero Lab! It's an hexagon! <laughs> so where exactly is this thing- The elevator's moving sideways! Where exactly is this thing taking us? Ho ho ho! Where indeed? Thank you for your fucking help, miss. This is how the dang rub of V3 is ending. We just four fucking people going down the elevator one last time. Oh my. This is such a shit team compared to the first time we came down here. Oh my goodness. Dunker go honk. Dunker go honk, honk, honk. He's a chunky honker. So what? Are we under area zero or something? Area minus one? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than when we were last here. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? My god, it looks exactly the same down here. Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. <laughs> Hard cut to the turtle hitting a fat fucking joint. Smoking a blunt. Hey. What's all this stuff? Who? What are desks doing down here? Oh my. Oh my, this is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Sada. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero in their slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. Ooh, it appears that rousing it will take some time. Click on the deck when you gain control. I presume you mean desk, but okay. In this cavern, I've witnessed a terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this type the Stellar Type for now. Could Terrapagos influence be at play? Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? And it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? Man, holy shit. The secret of Area Zero? The secret treasure was the fucking joint smoking turtle? Dude, the AI was also evil, so. And what is this about a Stellar Terror Type? Brilliant! Absolutely marvelous! To think there was so much that Heath didn't write about. These documents are a verit veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. The legendary Pokemon Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero? Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill on these documents, but okay, let's go. Greedy. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. Holy shit, bro. I don't care. They've already revealed the turtle. Bunch of darkness scattered around. Will you try reading one? Yes. Massive cavern makes barrier zero, and there's almost five ghosts in treasure. Its body's become crystal. In this cavern, it's the teller type. We already read that one. I'm calling the area found below Area Zero the Area Zero Under Depths. From the composition of the rock, it would date the cavern's information to two million years ago. There are indications that many objects or creatures perhaps filled the space prior to the current cavern's formation. 
The depths bottom out at approximately 3,300 feet beneath the surface. There are indications of numerous past cave-ins. It likely resulting from tectonic activity and erosion caused by rainwater or groundwater. But it appears that the ground has remained stable since the last major cave-in. While investigating the hidden treasure, I found myself suddenly transported to a great height near a lake that smelled of sulfur. Based on temperature and humidity, I believed it to have been the eastern lands I've read about before, and there a child gave me a white volume. That's fucking weird. I presume that's just everything. Okay, it is. Alrighty. I could just make a fucking jump for it. I could just hit that fucking griddle. Get the hell out of here. Go swim. Go swim. Well, that's a cave then, alright. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. It's completely blocked the path. Yeah, we're not going any further with this in the way. Hey, what about what you done? The Pokemon you ride on couldn't smash through? That's fucking trying it. Why not? Hold on, hold on. Please hold on. This is quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Probably a cave-in. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Oh, hello. Click, 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 click. There are Pokemon all the way down here? And what's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You know you're no good in a battle, Miss Briar! Kiki. No, Mephistopheles. You should handle this. We, maybe we can both do it. Why do I have to fight it? It's just hanging out. Mora! No, I'm, I'm Mephistopheles, actually. Dude, you couldn't have picked, like, a fucking more interesting Pokemon to put here than the shit we've seen a hundred times already? Oh my god. The world's strongest Glamora? This motherfucker- Why does this motherfucker have the every type? What on earth is that energy? It, it couldn't be- Is he the secret treasure of Area Zero? Great Glamora? Dude, he's level 70. Are you shitting me right now? Thanos? I killed him? We eat those? I'm just gonna kill it. I don't want this. No! I, I should have sucked a punch, honestly. But whatever. Well, no, he said the army. He might have lived. But maybe he wouldn't have. Hey guys, I beat up that thing with all the infinity stones. Good work, Mephistopheles. Oh, he was like a little guardian. And I killed him. I drowned him. Whoa, it disappeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That means it must have the stellar terror type. Uh, so what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? Oh shit, and I killed it. I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's note said the hidden treasure of Air Zero is sub slumbering in crystal form. The Glamour you just fought off doesn't fully fit that description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Terrapagos. Well, the only way to know if it was a hidden treasure, you know, is to keep going. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you already know. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. Homeboy, you're gonna be alright. Ski, we're surfing down the walls. Let's just morph it. Carbink? Are you new?
Maybe it's just that they're like, like the the stellar terrestrial move is just super effective against everything. You know, maybe that's all it is. Oh, carving. Don't mind me. I'm just fucking walking along. Ski, ski. Okay, I guess I have to. Oh my! Oh, okay. I was like, how do I get up there? Hey guys, we gotta do another one? Oops. Hello, Carbink. You jump scare. Is there like another little guy I'm supposed to fight? This is scary. Alright, you idiots go stand over there or whatever, and I'll come fucking look for actual progress, I guess. Oh, yep, there he is. There's the progress. Dude, this is fucking boring, bro. Why would I want to fight a Neuvern? I could really use the homies to heal me up in between fights. I believe in you though, Sir Frazzle. I believe you can just heal yourself up. Like, obviously you can heal yourself up with Parabolic Charge, but I'm also referring to, like, just curing yourself of your poison through sheer willpower and being based. You know, I guess I guess the, the Terrastal Super Type is less about changing your type and more about, uh... boosting all of your attacks. Instead of just boosting attacks of one type. Stellar cure you for the third round of this. Well, that means it's probably gonna be like, oh shit, he's getting rid of his flying typing. What is my cure you equivalent? I don't think it's brute bonnet. Slitherwing maybe? That's kind of pog. Stellar uh, fluttermane or whatever. No, not fluttermane. That's the mischievous. What the fuck? I just called it. Damn, you were pretty strong. I ain't gonna lie about that. Walking magnets? Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be, uh... The moth for me, because you have your own moth. So maybe it's the magnets? I know it's not Roaring Moon. Good job, Mephistopheles. The crystal thing is gone now. Yeah, bitch. I know. I'm leaving without you. Oh. That Pokemon's called Crichton, right? Boy, it can really jump. We're on a roll. Let's keep on moving. Okay. It's a lot of, like, I don't need the dialogue in between everyone. It's boring enough just fighting Pokemon over and over. I really don't need to listen, you fucking Babylon. Oh, shit, it died. Damn, they really are just leaving me out here to do all this shit myself, huh? over here. I know there's probably just a way to go up, like climb the wall instead of going over here and everything. 
I'm kind of just peeping for items, you know? Although it appears as though there's none. It appears this was the wrong way to go. I don't really know why this is here. There's nothing down here. It's kind of just a weird, stupid cave. What a strange location. Oh, it is the walking magnets. You're right. Uh, I might need to change then. Because I think you're electric types. I think you're like electric ground. Which could be a little problematic. You hitting like a ground move. Be a little damaging to Captain Bonesaw. He used gravity dunks. Now my earthquake will hit extra hard. Dunks is un sleepy guy. Dang, I outsped that Sandy Shocks dunks. Wow. He's slow. He's slow, isn't he? We're about to get two evolutions, Dunker. Come on. Why you, you be a little baby, Dunk? So you be a little crybaby. Be a little needy guy. I'm trying to evolve some fellas over here. Could just naturally get to 200 playing the game. Oh yeah, for reference, uh, I was told that... For those watching on like, YouTube or something, I was told that you have to get 200 Pokedex entries before the uh, Paradox Legendary start showing up, so who knows if we'll get that on stream or not. We'll attempt it. We'll try our best, don't We'll try our best, Stinky. Stinky Winky. Dunks, if you want pets, just come sit next to me. I don't want to have to lean over to the couch to give you pets while I'm trying to play Pokemon. Come sit in my lap, and I'll give you scritches while I play. Yeah, it's that easy. You can just come sit in the bed and just lay down next to me. Oh, Mephistopheles, the path opened up. Oh, shit. I think I can make it. 3,100 LP. I don't want that, though. I want BP. I can make it. I made it. I gotta swap out the Rampardos, though. Let's see that Luminion. Fellas, please, I don't want more dialogue. Sorry we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it. I don't mind doing all the work if you just stop talking afterwards. Now then, it appears the terrestrial energy around us is going more dense the further down we go. Come on, we've no time to lose. It's like if either of you besides Kieran had any fucking personality whatsoever. That's not fair. Carmen's got a little bit of personality, and it's the worst fucking personality possible. I will not miss this item, you sneaky peats. A max potion for me. Oh my, they're stalking me up. Big boss incoming. They said get ready. He's coming. Dude, they actually are like stalking me the hell up. For some fight that's probably going to be like a total fucking pushover. Oh shit, we going under Wawa. Yes? Why are you here? 
You wanna look around the water? I don't wanna get my clothes wet. Alright, I fucking... No, it's not like I'm in fuzzy winter clothes or anything. Yeah, I'll definitely jump in the water. No, please, don't get yourself wet. I thought this was Sandy Shocks again. I was gonna be a little pissed. That they, like, ran out of Pokemon for me to fight. Um, Knackle Stack, I think, might have the water absorb shit. I don't know who I use. I guess I just use you. And you just slam an earthquake down. You're you're a little sussed. You're a little sussed up. Go 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 go! Wow wow! Go go go! Reggie! Go 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 go! Find Knackle Stack. Amazed that I remember its name. To be honest with you. Oh wow, Earthquake is super effective. That's crazy. No, he's so heavy. Never mind. My guy's heavier. No, it wasn't enough to untear him, meaning I have to waste two more turns. No! Simply going to kill you. Uh oh, idiot. Bad move. They call it Knackle Stack? Knackle Stack is the middle one. This is Garganackle. Knackle Stack's a better name. But I like Garganackle as a Pokemon. Please. Free my people. Let my people go. Okay, Kiki, your turn to call him Mephistopheles. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering and just do it. Fellas, I, I'm the protagonist. I don't need any of you to call me over. Hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. Dude, what's like fucked up? Is it it borderline feels like we're just fucking undoing all of the, his fucking character arc? Like for no reason. And I'm not saying like, oh, he should stay evil. He should never turn good again. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, we're just turning him good. Like nothing has happened. He's just turning good again. Nature is healing. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Mephistopheles? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on him is all. So true, Kieran. So true. Let him know. We should keep going. Guy so stubborn. Listen. Kieran fixes his fucking hair. He can take Penny's spot at the barbecue, alright? Haha, <laughs> you two are simply dazzling as always. Why are you here, Briar? Just so you know, we were also filling up all the Pokemon while you were away. No, you fucking weren't. So me and my team are just about spent. Sin is just all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. You're such a fucking loser, Carmine. There's nothing down here but carbings and glimmets, you fucking wuss. You absolute weenie hut senior. My Terra Orb. I think it's reacting to something. Huh? You're right. Mine is too. I don't have a Terra Orb. It seems to be coming in there. From in there. Are we finally at the finish line? Yeah, yeah, we'll do the same. The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Scarlet Book is so close now. What? Not you two. Those two sometimes, I swear. Don't talk to me like we're friends. Boom. 
I should probably save, but whatever. What is this place? The vibes here are on a totally different level. Hidden treasure. Where is it? There, Kieran, up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Is that him? That's like a capsicid stuck in the rock. This stone's the hidden treasure? Give me a moment. I just need to check something. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I, I can finally beat Mephistopheles! Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis! Mephistopheles has everything I've ever wanted! He's got strong Pokemon, he can go anywhere he wants, and he can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. But Kiki, you did your best too. Even you, sis! You were being all nasty toward me at first, but then boom! You were like best friends in no time. I, well, I've got nothing. I worked so hard and for what? I still lost in the end! This, this is all I have left now. Found it! This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kieran, pull with everything you got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Miss Briar, please. Please, there's a, there's a situation happening here, Teach. Is he about to get fucking terrestrialized? I'm gonna pick it up real fast. I'm gonna pick it up before him. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my. Why did they reveal Terrapagos in commercials beforehand? What the fuck was the point of that? Hey guys, got any weed? I've been asleep for a fucking while. Hey, you look like a pretty chill guy. No! You're mine! I want to, like, bounce it off of my Master Ball. That's a little base. That's kind of like a base maneuver. I thought it was going to break out. I thought it was gonna break out. I was gonna cry laughing. <laughs> Dude, good job. I'll trade you Ogre Palm for it. I don't want Ogre Palm. That was Terrapagos. You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were well prepared for this. Now I, can't, I used mine on a different turtle. <laughs> now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want. But there's no time like the present. Think you can give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Mephistopheles. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta get, like, a real important guy real quick. Oh, Pog, they healed me up. He doesn't need an item. He's based already. Are you ready? Alright. Get in position. I don't know if this is a double battle or not, which is why I led Captain Bonesaw. I hope you've braced yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Mephistopheles. You're leading Terrapagos? Oh, never mind. He's just talking. No, he's leading Terrapagos. What level is it? Go, Terrapagos! Show Mephistopheles what you're made of! <laughs> he's got a funny turtle. So this is the hidden treasure's true form? With this, I can win for sure! Oh shit. 
That was a little damaging. I need to swap into my own turtle. Brother, are you trying to 1v5 me right now? Go! My own Master Ball Turtle. If I had known he was going to 1v1, I would have led with the turtle. The Tur- Master. I did the same amount as they did to Captain Bonesaw. That's so funny. You tell him, Dunks. Just had a long rush, probably. He's gonna go first. Let's synthesis whatever he does. It's like gonna be neutral, isn't it? It's like an okay amount. It could possibly confuse, which would be a little stinky. Probably just headlong rush you. I don't know what type you are. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, that's not good. That's Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I should not have done that. My turtle, he was ill. He, no! I'm sorry, turtle. You're dead. I, I misclicked. It's Jover for you. I'm sorry, Deterrent Master. You could have stayed in and done it. Traveling's power should be far greater than this. Could it be we're missing something? He didn't terastalize. Also, I hit him with Toxic. I won't let Deterrent Master go down. Not like this. I should have swapped in the Captain Bone Saw for the Water Absorb. That would have been funnier. But whatever. He tried to predict it. He tried to predict it. Just in case it matters. Why? Oh, I thought if I just had Terrapagos. In treasure of Area Zero, it, it would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat Mephistopheles. But this is high as fuck. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. It's terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not. <laughs> He's sleepy. For style points, I beat him one on one with Ogre Pond. Not to mention the fact it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So, Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Of course! Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant! If my hunch is correct, Terrapagos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb, and the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. That's so funny, he didn't even think to do that. Got it. Let's run that match back one more time. You got any of that Terra Doobie? That's the good shit. I knew it! The Scarlet Book was right! Terrapagos in its fully awakened form! This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero! I'm so fucking tripping right now. Look at the little hat. I can see every color. I can taste sound and smell rainbows. I am the world master. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Tropicos to its ball. Okay. 
Come back, Terrapagos! No! The Pokeball is a smoke for that sucks! I didn't mean to do that! You won't go back inside! Why? I need a Percocet! Oh no, and all Carmen has is fucking Sinistra. It's energy output is haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't bring it under control. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Terrapagos. Come on, Kiki, you need to do something too. We've got to get Terrapagos under control. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. It's just like the worst Sinistra. Uh oh, energy's about to fucking begin it. Oh, thank you, Sinistra. Oh, thank you. Hey! Is that spiked tea? <laughs> I'm giving it so dude it became his favorite attention. He wants the he wants the the Sinistra tea. Okay, well I mean he's just gonna wipe everyone. Goodbye, Sinistra! No, it's immune to poison! Got the bone saw, get out of there! I didn't bring my Azumarill with me. Goodbye, Sinistra. I salute you. Wow, that sucks. Uh, yeah, you might want to brace yourself, Sinistra, for this one. It seems to compare to reduce damage. In that case, Terrasal, you brought my help. Oh, thank you. I'm actually, I don't do Terror Raids, so I actually was not fucking thinking about that. That actually makes a lot of sense. Here it comes. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I just fucking camped then. That doesn't help me, Sinistra. They get some some O sevens in the chat. Homeboy uh, tried something there. Oh no, my Sinistra knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. He took a hit anyway. Uh... Yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. I don't know if this is really the guy I should be terrestrializing with, but whatever. Ah, uh, I should have terrestrialized with Torterra. I should have been a real man. Now I'm not weak to it anymore. Wow, that did a comedically large amount. This little guy is kind of fucked up looking. I'm starting to see things. I did it. Now do I catch it with my Master Ball? Oh no! He absorbed my Terrast- Did he kill him? What? It absorbed Terrastal Energy? Oh shit. What the fuck is it now? It put another barrier with such strength. Did he use the Terrastal Energy to absorb to do so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Mephistopheles is doing all the work. It's no, it's no good. <laughs> I'm useless. What type are you? Is that ice? Boy, am I not still just strong against you? Wait, that might hurt. Ooh, it sure does. 
Captain Bonesaw, I think I let you go down here. Just to save someone a free entry. But you, you did very well. Yeah, there's no point in recovering. We're not trying to run. Okay, well now there would have been a point in recovering, but... No, this is not going to be difficult at all. It's just really fucking tedious because I have to wait for the energy. We're going to recover because I think I should be able to live a Zen headbutt once I terrestrialize and then I can recover and just keep spamming earthquakes on him. And then we might have to let him go down because I'm going to run out of earthquakes. Nope, he died. Oh, oops. That might set us back a little bit of time. Oh, gee, shattered his mind! Uh, you go in and buy me some Terrastal turns. Because you're, like, about to die, but you'll, like... Oh, this is probably going to be an ice move. Hold up, I didn't think about this. Okay, well, I was... Sorry, Deterrent Master. I wasn't really thinking. What, what terror are you? You're grass? That sucks. And you're normal. Terra Hyper Drill is probably pretty solid. Yeah, because we can spend our time coiling when we're waiting for the, the Terra to build up. And he can't flinch me with Zen Headbutt because I've got the cloak on the Kubo Hammer. This might hurt. Okay, no, that did way less. My special defense is crazy. Or it's a physical move. Okay, I think I have to start doing actual moves to him or it's not going to work. I'll pop a roof soon. I mean, honestly, just set up on him. Just set up on him entirely. What's he gonna do about it? He might, like, shoot, run out of his moves. I've gotta make my drill... Uh, my hyper drills count. I only got five of them. Kumo Hammer is about to just, like solo the last, presumably, three stages of this fight. One more, but let's roost. I need to be careful, I only have two roosts after this, so if we're trying to stay in for a long time. A battle of the centuries. Kumo Hammer, you're the dreamer for a reason. We've only set up four coils. Alright, I set up two more. I'll only be outdone by our battle in the future. Frosty Scouting. Okay. 
Okay, one more. You're gonna run a Terror Star Storms eventually. 240. So it's doing about 80 per hit. Which means I do need to roost now. Star Storm's doing 80. Zen Headbutt will do nothing to me now. I'm, I'm plus 6 defense. So this is... Alright, we want to live after this roost as long as we can. Because we'll only have one more roost. And he is he's cracking out the Star Storms. I may have spent a little too much time setting up, but we'll be fine. Kumo Hammer, if you could dodge some of these, that'd be great. Yeah, that's definitely a special move, because it's still doing about 80. Okay, this will fucking wipe him off the face of the earth. That's crazy. Okay, I may have to just spam Hyper Drone out to whittle him down as much as possible. Absorb Thrust Energy again? Surely can't keep doing that over and over, though. Kiki, Mephistopheles in trouble. You need to help him. Kumi Hammer's got this, I think. I can't. I can't help anyone. Come on, Kieran. Come on, Hammer needs backup! Do it for Kumo Hammer, not for me! You have a Pokemon that can heal? I really need one. You have your own Sinistra? That guy's pretty cool, too. Watch him get frozen immediately. Okay, you do damage while I use my last roost. Okay, I'll help out too. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. Too, if you need to clean this whole mess up. I didn't fucking do anything. Please, you can eat it. It does sub 80. It does sub 80. You can live it, Kumo Hammer. Let's go! Okay. Hopefully that gives me some Terra energy as well. The Sticky Syrup! That could help me live! I have to just whip out my fucking plus six hyper drills. Okay, I should probably just smart strike. I didn't do that much. I need you to keep lowering its speed, because apparently this shit is super effective when I'm terrestrialized. So I need to not get hit by that while I'm terrestrialized. So I need to outspeed once it's time for me to scoop on up. Okay, that actually did nothing. Oops. That's not what I need! Unless that's gonna heal me. What did that do? That's not what I needed. I'm gonna die. Wait, actually, I outsped it. Hi, Drapple. I think your, your, your speed... Oh, his speed keeps falling. This is it. Kumo Hammer will live. He's cheering. Kumo Hammer will live. The dream is real.
That should have killed! Oh, he's getting desperate. Hey guys, that wasn't very vibe of you. It looks like you can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Time to attack! Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go out. Come on! I'm gonna feed you to the weed smoking turtle. Wait, what the fuck is this? Why are you out speeding? Come on, Hammer, get down! Come on, Hammer! Oh! Let's go! A critical hit! Maybe he'll go inside a ball now. I know I can count on you, Mephistopheles. You got this. Use the beast ball. That's a pretty sick thing to use. Uh, Captain Bone saw us caught in my beast ball. I chose this one because it was weed colored. That ball is not smoke free. Is is it over? Is everyone okay? We're fine. Kumo hammer hard carry. Oh thank goodness, what a relief. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. You're completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your living in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. Dang, I messed up too. I looked up to Mephistopheles for so long. I wanted to be like him so, so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally. Finally, I can let it go. Hey man. Fix your hair. But I... I, I just... I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. You fucked your fucking asshole, Karma. You finally let it go. Wah! Oh, you two must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. You are truly dazzling. And in the end, our Mephistopheles even managed to catch Tarapagos. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. Man, that shit was ass. That was fucking pointless. Ugh, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No, scratch that. I need a publisher first. Hey, Mephistopheles. Look, I, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the lead club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology, including you, Mephistopheles. So, I'm sorry. And, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. So do you think... We could start over from minus one and be friends again. Xiam really should have voice acting. No, it puts me out of a job. Hey, we're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. They should pay me $20 to voice act the entire game for them, officially.
Well, me and like three women. I probably mean like a few women on the roster. We did it. Dunks is eating his munchies. There is still an epilogue. Um, we are not going to do the epilogue tonight. We'll do it tomorrow. Because there's an epilogue, and I feel like there's some kind of battle thing, like the champion tournament that they had in the original game, or in the base game. So, tomorrow's stream will be epilogue, and then probably checking that stuff out. If I didn't, if I wasn't out so late today, I would say, yeah, let's just wrap up the whole DLC now, but... I still have more to do. DMCA. Oh, is Ed Sheeran playing? Wait, sorry, I muted myself. <laughs> Wait, is it? I want to hear it. Hear <laughs> DMCA and said bet. Is it is it just is it just Ed Sheeran? I, I, I'm listening to the fucking song. I unmuted it. I don't give a shit actually. I get stuck when we play playing Pokemon. I get stuck when we're in the fucking DLC and Carmine won't shut the fuck up. I get stuck when my guy clips into a signpost and I can't leave. I get stuck. The DLC took a downhill turn. Yeah, man, holy shit was the Kieran one fucking nothing. I get stuck when I miss the good characters like Arvin and Nimona. But I get stuck with pieces of shit like Drayden and Carmen. I wanted some new cool Pokemon in the DLC, but I get stuck with the worst Entei you've ever seen. Down the DLC went downhill, and I got stuck with the pot money I already paid for it. And I want to get some new content, but I get stuck grinding bar barbecues. I get stuck. Doing stupid shit so I can get new Pokeball throwing animations. This is uh, here's Trapicas with the feet. I get stuck. Try to smoke weed in Area Zero basement. I get stuck. They locked me in the elevator downstairs. Minus four? I don't fucking give a shit about your dog shit fucking opinion. Hey, fuck you. I don't fucking, I don't need to hear this from you. I'm better than you. I'm stronger than you. I could beat you in a fight with my bare hands. I'll fucking take the globulin green serum right now. Minus five? Oh, congratulations. You can count. Who gives a shit? Debug management. Four whole people debugged this entire game. Unsurprising. Uh, there was the Chinese product testing one dude and an entire company? Yeah, bro, I bet you could, big ass, big foot. It's supposed to be a fucking insult. Oh, I could kick your ass. Yeah, I bet you could, you eight foot monster. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. I get stuck with people like you. I will now. <laughs> bro, I said you could. I ain't fighting big foot. Exactly. Exactly, I know you said that I could. I know I could. I get stuck. Yo, you remixed by Toby Fox. Wait, this is a <laughs> is this a remix of the of the Ed Sheeran song remixed by Toby Fox? Toby Fox, it's it's me, Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. I need you to drop a hot remix of our Ed Sheeran song, Told Dwight the Reservoir. We did it. We beat the DLC. My how things change. What what a fucking series of images, back to back.
Can I decorate my room? Oh no. This is an answer for the following student. <laughs> Papa Sabli from the Rana Academy. <laughs> this boy would like to see you in classroom 1 4. <clears throat> she has some important news to share with you regarding the terrestrial phenomenon. Yeah, we'll go do that. Oh, my guy's looking. Damn, they heal my guys up. That's Pog. That's Pog. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, go, we'll see what she has to say real quick. Where the fuck did my Finneon go? Oh, he's down here. Just in case some asshole tries to challenge me with a double battle real quick. Well. Here we go. Well, I don't think this is epilogue. I think this is just going to be her saying, you can find the Terra shits everywhere now. Hey, I've created a way to use the stellar terrestrial anytime you Terra if you have the shards for it. Hey, Mephistopheles. Glad to see you. You feel unrested and recovered after your big adventure and downs? Nope. Feel fucking tired all the time. Really? I thought you'd be all chipper by now. Youth is on your side, after all. But on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to return it all into a, to turn it all into a book, but don't worry. I've made sure to skip a few details and omit names of those involved. So what the hell? Where's my credit? So voila! A proof copy of the book. Freshly delivered from my publisher just for you. A proof copy of the exploration notes covering the areas around the depths. It's filled with long paragraphs describing what happened, along with Briar's thoughts. It sucks. I behaved recklessly in the under depths. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient apology. No, it fucking isn't. Ah, but there was something else I do. I want my royalties. Would you mind showing me your terror orb? I'm going to add Stellar Terrastal to it. Hmm, I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kieran and Carmine's orbs. I think it might be because your orb was directly exposed to the energy from Terrapagos. Kieran and Carmine say they ever since the Underdeps, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their Terra Orbs. That's cool, I guess. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to those deepest depths. You know the Terrarium Core? I thought said the Terrarium Cope. That hangs from the ceiling of the Terrarium? Well, until now, I'd been keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the Crystal Pool in Kitakami. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon from our Academy grounds. But, the other day, I tried adding crystals I'd collected from the underdepths to that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. The result, Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium, and they have the stellar terra type. Thanks to this, my research into the terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Stellar terra translation grants a boost of moves, but only once per move type. After you use a move, no other moves of the same type will get the boost. In terra raid battles, all moves will be boosted without limit. Oh, and there's one last thing. A man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance to the academy. That's all I have to report for now. Thanks for setting aside some time to chat. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagos. Till then. Yeah, he'll be in my box. Until then. Bro, are you a fucking teacher around here? Am I missing something? No, you weren't. You're some fucking journalist that showed up, right? Time to read her whole ass book. You seem to hear the director's voice echoing in your head. Master of always always seems a time or place. Why the fuck did you give it to me then? When, when is that going to become relevant? Aw, oh, shit. I don't want to go here. Um, We're probably going to stop there, though. Excuse me. We'll finish up the DLC tomorrow. I'll have more time to do so. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Uh, It was fine. This was like the worst of the DLC streams. And that's okay. Hopefully the epilogue's better. Um, this was the railroad into plot. No fucking around. But I'm tired. I'm gonna go set the PS5 up so I'm ready for 2K24. Uh, have a good night, gamers.